This is what they call a Raspberry Pi. This is a full-fledged computer which costs a grand total of $43. I am exploring and trying to create open source, open standards, cheap and accessible technological solutions. You can make it available for everyone. You can connect this to a monitor, you can connect this to your keyboard, to your mouse, mm -hmm. you connect this to your ethernet cable, or you can fit in a Wi-Fi. It's a full-fledged computer. And I wasn't satisfied with with buying things. So then next question is, can you disassemble this further and create your own, that means an even cheaper <laughs> version of it. So that means all the functionality of that right, can be replicated with this, which I self-built. So this thing costs about $4. Okay. And then some cheap wires and a few connectors. Why I do all this, uh, partly just for fun. Secondly, just to keep my brain <laughs> entertained. And thirdly, it gives me a good idea of what can or cannot work even as we roll out public infrastructure. Let's start with the home, the products that we use at home, whether it's your, you know, your fridges, your air conditioners, your fans, your lights, your TV. I am very certain all of them will have elements of smart technology in it. In other words, you should be able to control your own environment, your own home environment, and it should be seamless. As technology progresses, as there is more and more smart machines and robots, we want to ensure that Singaporeans are the creators, are the programmers, are the masters of robots. We have to do our best to help everyone do well in this revolution that we are living through.